Right, morning guys. It is uh, January the 31st, Monday, and me and Mark have come for 24 hours on Home Lake. Um, as you can see from the turbine and probably here, it's um, blowing a bit of a gale here at the moment and uh, I'm just kind of hunkered down trying to keep out the wind but um, we're just getting the gear out of the van and out of the car. We're going to set up for 24 hours on here, see if we can't get a, a fish or two out. Temperature wise it's about 5 degrees at the moment. So it's about half past, we've just gone half seven, so sun's sort of just coming up. And uh, I checked the barometer this morning, the pressure's down to about 1018, so it's um, gone down quite a bit in the last week or so. So I'm hoping that might drop them in the water a little bit. We might have a bit more success than we had um, when we were on Willowcroft, so we're gonna get, say, get everything unloaded everything set up and the rods out and then we'll uh, catch up in a bit and let you know what we're doing right it's just gone half past nine you can see i've got the both rods out so I've got the left hand rod basically straight out in the middle, it's got a manila snowman on it and the right hand rod I've actually cast over towards that tree so I went, went round and had a bit of a mark up in the edge just to see sort of what the there is, there's plenty of water over there so I've just um, thrown a and then stuck the rod out on top of it and Mark who's we're sharing the bivy for the night he's uh, done the same thing but he's got his right hand rod out in the middle left hand rod just over to his left hand side temperature wise it's um, certainly uh, a bit of a chill on but he's got his left hand rod over by the aerator sort of area there and his right hand rod is out in the middle as well so we're both doing similar sort of thing mix it up a little bit on um, where we're fishing one out in the middle one out by the margin As you can probably hear, it's very windy here at the moment. Oh, pretty windy. It's actually the uh, looks like it's changed direction a little bit because the turbine has slowed right down. But we've definitely still got wind blowing in here. But we're set up. Rods are out, and we'll see how we get on for the next 24 hours. Right, first one in the net. Um, first fish of 2022. It's been a while coming. Um, we sessions now since we had a last set of carp but we've got one it's only a little one um, probably about six or seven pounds nice little common but uh, it's a fish and Trying to uh, sit down 
out the wind as much as you can so you're not getting too much interference from the, the wind noise but um, that fish came on the left hand rod which is the one out in the middle uh, about quarter to one sort of time maybe one o'clock something like that but uh, so we've um, got that fish back in I've recast the left hand rod back out on the spot so out in the middle towards the two trees here um, and I'm just gonna have a, a recast of the right hand rod freshen, freshen the uh, stick up on that and stick it back out so my right hand rod's over towards that tree on the bank there so um, I'm gonna stick a, a fresh PVA stick I say it's got um, manila boily chops and crumb and them some manila and bloodworm pellets in there so just a few sort of small food items for them to feast on and hopefully find my bait at the same time so I'll get that done now and then uh, see how the afternoon goes but um, I threw the deeper back out on this lake as well I've had a, a go on here just to see what it's like and the the depths are showing as a roundabout sort of between eight and a half and ten feet so we did see some fish um, the ones we saw were actually showing as quite high up in the water but clearly there's fish all over I think so um, there's a, a, certainly that one was uh, down on the spot and feeding so hopefully we can get some more doing the same and with this cold wind sort of cutting across the top of the water I can only see that pushing them down further in, into the lower sort of regions of the water to try and uh, get away from the cold breeze that's obviously going to be chilling the, the surface layers so we'll see how we get on but finally we have a fish out not the biggest but nice enough and uh, a start to 2022 Here's today's dinner. Couldn't be bothered to do anything uh, on the bank, not with this wind blowing a gale, so we're on. Pizza Hut, mighty meaty and meat feast pizzas. All right, it's just gone half past two. We've still got a, a definite breeze about, but um, it's certainly easing off, and it's supposed to continue doing so for over the rest of the afternoon and evening. So I think overnight it's sort of supposed to go down to sort of more eight, nine, maybe 10 mile an hour wind, winds rather than the sort of 20, 25 that we've been having this morning and uh, over lunchtime. But, you can see the ripple on the water's dropped off quite a bit. We're not getting anywhere near as much um, interference on the bobbins and what have you with them being blown all over the shop. So uh, it's a, a little easier to fish now. The rods have both been out on this spot for the last hour or so, hour and a half. So. I'll give them another half an hour and then I think I might have a recast of both rods just to freshen the bait up, get a little bit of another PVA stick out on the spot, see if we can create a little bit of a bed for them to uh, find and, and work on. For now, so I'll leave them for a, sort of another half hour or so see how we go we've had a fish out which is more than anybody else on the lake has had I say the one guy who was over the far side over there has packed up there's another guy over there he's still there but he's not had any fish out there's nobody else on the lake there is a bivy sort of um, set up there but I think that's the uh, the guy in the shop he just looks like he's sort of working during the day and then fishing the night so um, He's left his gear sort of set up, but obviously the rods are in, so we suspect he'll be back to fish later on. But 
we'll keep going another half hour and then I'll give the rods a fresh bait ready so they're set up and ready for the evening and overnight Right, it's just gone 10 past five, so you can, say, you can see the sun is pretty much gone. It's just me and Mark on the lake tonight. The, um, the guy from the shop who is set up over there, he's um, not actually fishing tonight. He's uh, got a match tomorrow, so um, it's, we've got the, the lake to ourselves. So we've probably got about half an hour or so more light, 20 minutes more light. So I'm just watching the lake. Both rods are out on this spot. So left hand rod I've got out towards those three trees in the middle of shop. And the right hand rod out towards those three smaller trees on the right hand side. So both out in the middle. That's where I've seen sort of uh, most of the fish showing in the last half hour, 45 minutes. That's obviously where I had the the one fish from. So um, I'm going to put all our eggs in that basket and see if we can't sneak another bite or two out of here before uh, packing up in the mornings. But as I said, I think the light is quickly fading. So... We'll see how we got get on overnight. And if, obviously, if we do catch anything, we shall uh, give you some footage in the night. If not, we'll see you in the morning. Right, guys, another one in the net. It's just gone half past five, so the light is literally down to bare minimum now. But uh, another common. He's gone, we haven't weighed him, we think he's probably about eight or nine pounds, something like that. It's the uh, left hand rod again, out in the middle, so got up more of a fight now than he did. But it's another fish. So uh, get this one back before he does himself some mischief. Get the rods out, see if we can get another one. Another one in the net. Um, just weighed this one just to get a gauge of weight. He's gone 12 pounds. He's a little chunky thing, chunky mirror. Immediately felt slower, and more of a weight to it as I was playing it. So I immediately knew it was a, a better fish than the previous couple. But it wasn't a brilliant fight. Came in fairly easily, but we're not going to complain. He's in the net. He's our first double figure fish of 2022. So, we'll get this one back. I've already got the rod back out on the spot. So, we'll see if we can get another one out. Right, number four in the net. Um, another chunky mirror taken off the left hand rod which is out in the middle there. Very similar sort of fish to last time. 12 pounds again, so. But um, he's come on a 12 millimeter boilie, a manila boilie with a little slither and pop up on top just as a balancer so so it's just gone about quarter past ten so we'll get this one back see if we can get some more out they're certainly on the feed so hopefully we can get some more before uh, we have to leave in the morning
Right guys, just got there uh, four o'clock. Just had another little baby uh, common out. Maybe five or six pounds, something like that. But it's another one in the net. Mark's also had a uh, um, six or seven pound grass carp out about an hour ago. Just took a picture of that up as well. But, uh, we'll get this one back. Get the rods back out. See if we can't nick a couple more before the night's up. All right, morning everyone. It's just gone half past seven, so we're into the last hour or so of the 24 hours. I'm going to start packing away the gear now. Get um, Bivy and everything down and I'll just obviously leave the rods out until last knock-ins but um, yeah I've been obviously quite a successful 24 hours it's end of January I've managed to have five carp out Mark's managed to have that one carp as well so for a session where I'm coming off the back of four or five blanks it's completely turned around. I've managed to get out a couple of decent double figure fish, a couple of smaller fish. As you can probably hear, the wind's picked right back up again this morning. So I'm going to get everything down. Should all be dry, so uh, I'll get things packed away. And unless we get anything else, we shall leave it there. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We finally got the winter carp we were after. And started 2022 with a half decent session at the last.